Hey, 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 my pretty ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. If you know who I am, I'm Suki. Now don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so anytime I do new upload, you will be the first person to know, baby. Yes, it is the holidays and I know I'm a little, little lot late, whatever. It doesn't even matter. I'm, I did it, right? So I did do an eyeshadow holiday look for you guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed it because this one was a little tedious, but at the end of the day, it wasn't. It was easy for me, but it wasn't easy for me. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. I did get into detail with this um, look to show you guys how to do it. And you guys, can, if I can do it, you can do it too, okay? So yeah, if you guys really, really want to see how I work on my skin tone, on my skin type, and how I came up with this holiday eyeshadow look, stay tuned. Keep on watching. Let's get straight into the video. Alright pretty ladies and gentlemen, we are here. I'm going to do a Christmas eyeshadow for you guys. Something that's um... I don't want to say it's difficult but it's like a, a medium type of thing it's you know we're gonna make it work okay but we're gonna go based on these little light bulbs i did get you guys so these are from last year and let me see it's like it's like a light okay this is the one that don't work that one don't work i'm very mad about it because i was gonna have them all flashing for you guys but you know can you see it i think i got these from cvs so only one works so kind of mad about that but it's okay they're cute off too so i'm gonna go ahead and take these lashes and things like that off and i'm gonna go ahead and just get started on this christmas eyeshadow all right so now that i have you guys zoomed in first things first is going with this p louise base in rumor zero three we're gonna put that all over the lid i will also link a video up here for you guys um with me doing a full face of makeup to put my foundation on so i will i will leave it up there but if you guys have any questions about anything that's on my face, ask me and I'll leave it in the description box below, okay? So I'm going to use my M173 brush to blend this out. Not even to blend it. You just want to try and keep it in place more so. So you just want to pat it into place but move it at the same time. So gradually move that brush around but not too much. You feel me? Because this is what's going to make your shadow stick. And we're all going to wing it out. So we're going to bring this outward, okay? Don't worry about the brow. If it gets jacked up, we can also we can always go back in and fix her. All right, so yeah, that is the base that we want right there. All right, you guys. So in this video today, I want to go ahead and use this Glam Light. I've been having this product sit here for a while, you guys, and I really, really wanted to use her. This is the Glam Light Cosmetics. I don't know, I think it's called Checklist, but it's like the one that has like the hamburger, the fries, the shake. It's that little collection. So I'm going to go ahead and just go through the items with you guys, and then we're going to go ahead and start the eyeshadow look. So here's one of the items. It's their lashes. That is what they look like. They're called <laughs> fry lashes, okay? And then here is the next item, you guys. And then here is one of the eyeshadow palette burger slider there is the actual colors and things like that on the back you guys it's really cute so like when you open it this is how it looks okay it's like wrapped in a burger almost and that's how it looks you guys and then you pull her out of the packaging really really cute right i'm pretty sure everybody already knows about this but i've been having this for damn near a year and i haven't even used her so i felt like this is a good time so this is that one, three, six, nine. So it's nine shades in this palette, five mattes, and four shimmers. Really, really pretty, you guys. Love this one. But I'm not gonna use this one. I don't think I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna put her back in the package. I'm gonna leave this one for a whole nother video. All right, so this is the star of the party today. The Glam Light Burger Palette. This is the one that we're focusing on, okay? And it opens up like this. It's just like the other one. It has like, you know, like it's wrapped in a fucking paper. And then this is the, how big this one is. It's as big as my big head, right? 
Okay, let's open it up. It has that film protection in there. Y'all know what it is. I'm going to show you guys why this is a good Christmas palette. So, it does come with a mirror, and those are the beautiful shades. Look at that. That's This is why this is a Christmas one. Look at those colors. Those greens and those reds. Very, very pretty, right? Very pretty, right? All right, so on the back it says, to get featured, use hashtag Glamlight, and it has um, their Instagram on the back. It says, do not eat, you guys, okay? Do not eat this, period. <laughs> So each eyeshadow pen is 0 0.07 ounces. So this palette comes with 16 eyeshadows, 10 mattes, and 6 shimmers. I'm not going to swatch them here. If you guys want to see a swatch on this one, let me know and I will do an Instagram reel for you guys. And we can do swatches, okay? But otherwise, yeah, that's the palette I'm going to use. I'm just going to go ahead and go in with these Morphe brushes right here. I'm going to go in with my M506 brush which is this one right here. All right, so you guys, so that is the base. Nice and thick. I believe we're gonna get a good eyeshadow look. So I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna to do is go on my M506 brush. You guys know I love that brush, right? Oh, and some of the colors, names in this palette is uh, pickles, mustard, bacon, sweet potato fries, um, tomatoes, <laughs> a thousand island, caramelized onions cheddar blue cheese avocado red onions um onion rings lettuce spinach ketchup and barbecue sauce so that's some of the names so first things first you want to make sure your base is nice and flat okay make sure there's no lines blah 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 blah, blah, blah. all right i'm gonna go in with spinach spinach is that green shade right there. and i'm gonna start placing this above my crease a little bit you know what's funny when people do this it makes them like when they like this way it's just like oh my god what the hell it looks weird right but when it's like this way it's like oh bitch <laughs> bitch okay now you want to go in and then make it more pigmented make it as dark as possible okay make it as much as pigmented as dark and as dark as possible so we're going to keep this brush so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my switch, you guys. It is by Sigma. I don't know if you guys do know that, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean this same M506 brush off, right? Set that aside. And now we're going to go in with the shade Avocado. It is a lighter green. Y'all already know where it's going. All right, so let's go ahead and go in with Avocado. Again, using that M506 brush. And then I'm going to dab that on the outer parts of that green. So now you're taking that color and going like in between so see how it starts to fade out all on its own you're just tapping using that same brush clean that brush off you guys so now you want to clean that same m506 brush off on that switch and now we're going to go in with mustard yes mustard okay you already know where it's going stop playing you already know if you want to you can go in with another um lighter shade it don't have to be this one it's gonna take a little bit to get the pigment up because um, you need to make sure that brow is nice and dry, basically. All right, so go ahead and clean that off on your switch. And let's go back into avocado and place that color back down. You're gonna see how that color is even lighter now because we've got that yellow base down. And I'm more of a tapper. I don't really blend, I'm more of a tapper. I like to tap my shades into place. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut the crease, y'all. So I'm gonna go off of camera and I'm gonna do this eye and then come back and we're gonna cut the crease. I'm gonna go ahead and actually do the Vaseline trick. I'm gonna use my Vaseline and I'm gonna use a Q-tip. I'm gonna roll that Vaseline into that Q-tip. I'm gonna roll that Q-tip into that Vaseline, LOL. And I'm going to start to create a cut crease with the Vaseline hope you guys can see me but yeah TikTok, I'm happy to um and you let it just set for a minute or so and then um I let this side set already so I'm gonna go in with a clean dry q-tip and just start wiping away
or you can go in with your cotton squares or cotton rounds and kind of like fold it over your nail or over something and just wipe away also I think it looks really good so now we're gonna go ahead and check and make sure they're even as possible you aren't you're not gonna always get everything super super even so don't even really really stress yourself about it all right so now i want to go on with another p louise base this is the rumor zero two this one is lighter way way lighter okay and i'm going to use my m167 brush you guys know i use this to cut my brows and going into that m167 brush i'm going to put it on the brush and i'm going to I already cut the crease it's already cut but we're going to go in and make it even cleaner and put a base back down to put shadow on top okay i really want a white shadow honestly you guys all right so that's what we want it to look like okay um i'm gonna take this e18 brush looks like this and i'm going to go ahead and blend this inner corner out first So I don't, I really don't want to put any color. I like the way it looks. This is it right here. This is for me. This is what it is. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go on my Laura Mercier powder. This one is, uh, the blur, the translucent loose setting power and ultra blur. And it is in the shade translucent. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take this M124 brush. It is flat, but a little bit fluffy. And I'm going to go into this Le Mercier powder, honey, and I'm going to set that area. And we're going to go ahead. You want to make sure the base is flat first. Get all those little wrinkles out your eyeballs. Okay. And then start setting it with that powder. You can also use an eyeshadow that's light if you want to. It's up to you. I'm going to go in with a fluffier brush because that's going to take me a while to do it with that one. Not too fluffy, but fluffy enough. So I'm going to, instead, I'm going to go in with the M133 brush. But I still need that other brush to get the edges, get really detailed. You know what I mean? Let me get closer because I don't know if y'all can really see the detail on this. Really pretty. It went in with the red, the um, yellow, which kind of looks green, but it's still bright. Then we went in with the blue and a one purple and a couple of green. It's really pretty. Put on some liner and then went in with some beast by dip lashes. So let's go ahead and do this on this side. And I'm just gonna do it, you guys. And hopefully we don't have to talk through it. Hopefully, okay. Let's just go ahead and get straight into it. All right. So you guys see how I have the wire? It's black, right? Usually nowadays on lights is they no longer have it black but that's what we doing for the makeup is nowadays it's green but we're gonna go ahead and go on with this elf precision um black eyeliner and we're gonna go ahead and just create that nice little you know and it's probably not gonna be the same okay so don't cover me if it's not the same all right let's keep going level up level up level up level up level up There I go. Rest your arm on the desk. Rest your hand on your cheek and small strokes, you guys. Small strokes. Small, small, small strokes. Okay. Looks good to me. As long as you can see the lines. All right, so now you guys, we're gonna go ahead. I don't see like put the little square blocks above the lights. That's what we're gonna do now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight on this side. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's fine. As long as we get eight in there, okay? All right, so now we have the actual cord and then the little placements to actually put the bulbs. 
and I'm gonna go in with my Suba Beauty brush it's really really thin this is the 610 brush you guys know I love this for my liners I I am like this is my baby my holy grail right here okay I'm gonna have some tissue in front of me I'm gonna go ahead and go on my Beast by Deb cosmetic hydro liners you guys I will um, probably leave the colors as I use them on the screen so let's go ahead and try and do that so let's go ahead and go on with the first one which is I think I'm gonna go on with the darkest shade first the green one as I did earlier so this is the green one which was called moneymaker and that's what it looks like and you go into some water and then you put the brush in there to activate that liner and you can make the consistency consistency the way that you like it thick thin you know however you like it I kind of like mine in between but then when I feel like I need to get more detailed I make it thinner if that makes any sense the thicker the more pigmented the thinner the more detailed you can get with putting it down all right so again on that brush let's go ahead and do the one that goes here that's what I started with on the other side so I'm gonna try to do the same all right so we have one so far we're gonna put that other one at the front but try not to close your eye because you want to let that really dry because if you don't let it dry it will transfer and we don't want it to transfer but at the same time I understand because it's Christmas and need, people need to get their gifts for their kids you know what I mean so kind of get the shape that you want and then go and fill it in and remember you can go back later to fix it up okay let's go ahead and go in with that red so this is the red it's called sultry that's what it looks like we're gonna do the same thing you guys that was not too pretty but she's on there okay <laughs> she's on there let it dry all right now i want to go ahead and go on with the blue one i think i did two blue lights yeah i did two and it's fiji that's that one there same brush you guys I think this one is called Pervinko it's the purple one I'm going with this one next and with the purple one I'm going to do one light bulb so All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go on with the yellow shade. It's called Firefly. Same brush, you guys. I think yellow, yellow is the last shade. Even though it doesn't look yellow over here anymore, it looks more neon, but hey, it's okay. I think the yellow is more neon anyway than uh, actual yellow color, so I'm okay with it though. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with the white, which is called Snowflake, on that same 610 brush, that Sua Beauty brush. And I'm going to put the little, you know, to make it look like the light is reflecting on those lights right at the corners or at the top, just like that. So all of them are done now. I think that looks good. It doesn't look too bad. And I'm gonna clean that brush off. Now I'm gonna go in and outline it with the black one. I can't really, I really can't see what that one says. So I don't know. The black one. And this is not as black as the eyeliner we use to do the actual cord. It's a tad, just a shade lighter. It has like a gray undertone basically to it and i feel like it's better for it to be i don't want it to be just as black so it works out good here we go just do like small strokes okay it's easier if you do small strokes i 
I gave that a second to dry. I know that these are bigger than this side, but at the end of the day, we made it do what it do. Period point blank. So now I'm gonna go back in with that e.l.f. Precision Liquid Eyeliner in black. And I'm going to tight line the top of my eye. And then once I put my lash on, if I feel like it needs to be, you know, winged out, I will like I did on the side. So I'm going to go back in with the burger palette because I forgot to do a couple of things and I want to go ahead and correct it and fix it. All right, so I'm going to go into that mustard yellow that I did use earlier today, you guys. And I want to put it right at the back because I don't want this to look how it's looking. I want it to look like this one. And then I went in with sweet potato, sweet potato fries right under that on my M506 brush, okay? You see how it's the same now? Now it's the same. Okay, so now let's go ahead and go into our dual lash glue in clear. And we are using our Beats by Deb lashes. This is what they look like, you guys, in the style Goddess. Okay. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the glue to dry down, I'm going to go in with my Kat Von D eyeliner in the shade Triple Black. And put that in my waterline. So now we're letting that dry down a bit. I think, yeah, I think we, we're getting there, honey. All right, so now that I have the lash, I'm gonna go on my Morphe um, 1971 Coca-Cola mascara, mascara, okay, mascara. And I'm gonna put some mascara on my bottom lashes and then blend my uppers into the falsies. Rub, pull, rub, pull, rub, pull, okay. And then kind of flick up and bring back down to really make your lashes pop okay and then put it here all right you guys so that is the eyes i know my angle has changed i do apologize like my bad but um that's the eyes. so i'm gonna go ahead and do my lips i'm gonna use this morphe transitor lip liner to outline my lips all right, you guys, so this is with a red lip by Juvia's Place. I think it's pretty. All right, you guys, so this is the final look, you guys. I think it came out so, so, so beautifully. So this is another Juvia's Place lipstick. Um, I will try and leave everything down in the description box below. If I do not, please message me so I can give you guys the combo, okay? But yeah, this is it, you guys. I think it came out so, so, so pretty. Sorry my hair is sweated out but it's okay i think it looks very pretty all right so i hope you guys really really enjoy this christmas look if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and if you're not following me you should be following me by now because i'm only getting greater i'm only getting better at this you guys period okay so until next time i love you guys stay pretty bye